There was one sixty days in quarantine cation, but school came around just to end it. So this year's problem for Mustang Nation is finding ways not to get sick. Like maybe wearing a mask or socially distance or making sure your hands are clean. Discovering a vaccine that doesn't exist or saying them when you need. Sanitize every day and please just stay away. We're locating symptoms on red. Having fun at school, so please don't be too cool with driving our teachers insane. Corey? As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do to get through school this fall. Come on, Stanks. So stick with us, cause Mustang Media's gonna film it all. So stick with us, cause Mustang Media's gonna film it all. Mr. Darby, they're not staying six feet apart. Boom! <laughs> Morning, Stangs. I'm Matthew Braun. And I'm Matthew Braun. And boy, do we have a spooktacular at Mustang Media for you. Let's start off with a bang with the origin of Skelly Woody. Woo! In the land. Far, far away, with a boy named Corey Stephan, always being made fun of. So hated, he felt so alone. What is my life come to? Always being pushed and shoved by the other boys. He came home one day, one Halloween night. Oh, Susie Lou. Well, let's go. On his way, he knocks on the door. Susie came out. It's trick or treat! It's trick or treat! No! You have glasses! You can't see! If you don't leave, I'll kick you into me! Rejected. His mom wasn't even on his side. It's like you just made a scene. That's embarrassing. If I can't be happy, no one can be happy. Susie Blue will regret this. He had no hope at this point. He knew he needed to do something about it. So to the witch he went. And they say, You're going to wake it today. Well, you're in luck, Jack. I had an evil cup of coffee this morning. I'm feeling extra wicked. I've been mistreated all my life. I smell. I get made fun of. My glasses keep fogging up. I can't see. Well, I have the perfect spell for you. Get, scat, scatter, scam. Get back to those evil monsters in a band. Thank you so much. I can feel myself turning to the dark side. And to the dark side he went. <laughs> and the story begins from here. Oh no, it's Halloween night. Worst time of the year. I hope I get to crush people's wishes. I smell something sweet. I guess it's time to leave my bones and steal someone's wishes. Man, it's been a long night. Skelly Welly, is that you? Uh, no. Skelly Welly, why do you feel the need to take people's wishes? Have you no heart? My, my one wish growing up was to have one love of my life. Susie Lou, who loved me. But she crushes my dreams on Halloween night. Why, sh why should everyone be able to have dreams when I couldn't have mine? Life will hand you lemons sometimes. It's what you make of it. Growing up was tough for me too. I'm constantly being put down and made fun of. But I figured that I would grow from it because you don't grow when life is easy. We grow when we face a challenge. You know, I've never thought of it like that. Life has been tough and it's just easier to be evil and try to overcome the hate. I feel like you need to leave all the evil and hate behind you. Go to Susie's house and tell her your love. People can have change at, of heart. Maybe she's waiting for you. I don't know. Do it, Skelly Welly. Do it for Susie Lou. I think she's right. I, the Skelly Welly, need to retire my job. But I was bound to be wild. I need to go see Susie Lou's house and tell her how I feel. Um, hi. Uh, who in Dracula's name are you? I don't know if you remember me, but Halloween night 25 years ago, today, I came to your door. I asked to go to trick or treat and everything. Then you said no, so I ran away. So you didn't became the evil Skelly Welly. The Skelly Welly is not welcome here. No, 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 I'm done with that. 
I, I came back to tell you how I feel. My life has handed, handed me many lemons, and instead of making lemonade, I just threw them out. I want a fresh start, and I think this is where I needed to go. What in tarnation? Skilly Willy, I... I actually go by the Silly Willy now. Oh, sorry. Silly Willy. I have always loved you, from the moment I laid my eyes on you. But I, I didn't want to tell you because because everyone used to make fun of you because you smelled really bad. And uh, I don't know. But now I love you, and I still love you. Oh my gourd, my sweet pumpkin pie. I've been waiting my whole life for this moment, my hollow queen. Would you like to go treat or tricking with me? Of course. Let's have some silly fun. Let's go. Man, that was very fun. It sure was, but I sure am tired. Okay, but before we go to bed, can we make a candy corn trail to wish happy ever after? That sounds like a skill a good idea. I agree. Perfect. Now to go to bed. Good night. Good night. Exciting. Not quite as exciting as a bell and hay, but it'll do. Yes, sir. Now let's take it to Gabe and Ethan with My Strange Addiction, Halloween Edition. Spooky! Welcome to Mustang's Addiction. Today, we will be looking at one of our teachers who has a crippling addiction to Halloween. Let's get started. So what causes you to um, like Halloween so much? Well, my birthday is the week before Halloween. I was actually due on Halloween, but I decided to make my entrance early. Um, but ever since I was born, my mom's always done my birthday on Halloween. So growing up in elementary school, middle school, she would always throw my birthday party on Halloween. Um, she would make our basement into a haunted house. All the neighbors would come. They'd beat parts of the haunted house. All my friends would look forward to celebrating my birthday on Halloween. So all my friends got roped into loving Halloween as well. So it's always just been, I mean, we don't even celebrate my birthday anymore. It's just, we celebrate Halloween. So definitely just from my mom, she's the queen of Halloween. So would that be your favorite thing about Halloween is the fact that it's around your birthday and just everyone loves it so much that you're with, or is it just a specific thing about Halloween? Um. I, I mean, it's spooky season. It has honestly nothing to do with my birthday. It's just, I grew up excited to be in costume and hang out with my friends. And I mean, even to this day, one of my, um, like when I was dating in high school and college, it was like, do you like Halloween? No. All right. Sorry. Bye. Like my husband <laughs> literally has been, you know, full fledged hundred percent in on Halloween. Um, and I think that was like the deciding factor. Yeah. Uh, he jumped in wholeheartedly and here we are. Your favorite Halloween? Is there one that sticks out to you that you can oh, remember? Yeah. Oh yeah, so 2015, this was actually, we were supposed to go to Salem, Massachusetts for the five year anniversary of going to Salem. Um, in 2015, we dressed up as Hocus Pocus characters. If you have not seen that movie, watch that movie. I can't tell you how many of my students have not seen Hocus Pocus and there's nothing more irritating than not seeing Hocus Pocus. Go watch it. My um, brother flew in from London. My other brother lived in Connecticut. Um, I was living in New York at the time, so we all met up in Salem, Massachusetts. Some of my friends joined in, and we all um, dressed up as Hocus Pocus characters. And just being in Salem on Halloween night, it's, it's, it's a party. I mean, people are just in the streets, full costume, parades. It's, it's the best night. And we were going to recreate that this year in 2020, but thanks a lot, COVID. So. That's not happening anymore, unfortunately, but Halloween 2015 was probably by far my favorite. So what's it like being in her classroom in the morning? A lot of Halloween. Um, lights are normally off. 
She got all of her decorations out and every single one is Halloween themed. And they stay up year round, so we get to look at it every single day. So what are your experiences with being in homeroom with uh, Ethan and Mrs. Popham? So I like being in homeroom with them because it's like Halloween like every day when you're in there. And I've always like liked Halloween as well. Like as much as, not as much as she does, but So yeah. you're also another Halloween friend. Yeah, for sure. You know what my strange addiction is, Matthew? And what is that, Matthew? Doing burnouts. Buddy, couldn't have said it better myself. And now, let's look at some students' natural highs, sponsored by the Drug Free Club. Hey, Mustangs, we're here with the lion, and tell me, what is your natural high? Um, hanging out with my friends, eating food. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's a good answer. Here with freshman Quinn. Tell me, Quinn, what is your natural high? Um, well, I like to dance a lot. Um, oh, I'm quite a dancer myself, you know, bust out those moves, yeah. Thank you. What's up, Mustangs? Here with Devin McCormick, and since it is Red Ribbon Week, I'm asking him, Devin, what is your natural high? Well, Jacob, I'd say my natural high is uh, probably just playing some playing some football. So that's that's what one. it is. Here with uh, senior Stephen Burst. Now tell me, Stephen, what is your natural high? Uh, I have to say studying for school and playing Among Us with the boys. Ah, Among Us, quite a fun game. I love playing with the boys too. Good one, Stephen. Well, here with uh, Tyler Cook, Mr. 36. Tyler, what is your natural high for Red Blue and me? Um, I would probably say watching movies. Watching movies, all right. Now, you know what my natural high is there? Sitting in your truck? Boy, you know me too well. Shall we take a look at sports this week? Darn tootin'. Let's take a gander down how the Mustangs performed this week. Welcome back to another week of Sports Mustangs. Pooh Bear here with Jake from State Farm. Starting off this week, we have girls soccer. They played West Chessman and had a tough loss of two to one. And the goal was scored by Rosie Jump. Good season, girls. The football team took a loss to Saturday. The score was 20 to 13. Touchdowns were scored by Trevor Shadler and Carson Shermer. The academic team took the win this week with a score of 30 to 12. And Matthew Callahan had nine points, and Michael Thames had eight. Now the top plays this week, and some honey. Welcome back to the top three this week. I am Rosie Jump, and don't worry, I am back in action. Starting off with number three, we got the football boys playing Sayre. They're lining up. Jacob Light gets the ball, hands it to Trevor. He pushes through and... Touchdown! Yeah. All right, now with number two, the girls' soccer team playing with Jessman. We have Brooklyn Meyer taking a free kick. Great she ball. kicks it. Ball. Head ball from Rosie Jump. <laughs> Me. Goal! <laughs> Now for the top play of the week, we have the football boys here again. And the ball is snapped to Jacob Light. And Jacob looking throws it to Carson Germer. And he runs, 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 and he runs. Touchdown! Man, I love myself some football highlights. Football! And finally, let's giddy on down to the weather this week. Now I hear that weather man's a good looking fellow. Well, let's go see. Morning, Stangs. It's your man, me man, Stan the weather man, coming at you with another weather forecast. Now people always ask me, Stan, could I ever be as good a weather man as you? And I reply, no. It's just God given talent, I'm sorry. Can't do anything about it. Starting off on Monday, it's gonna be gonna be sunny with a high 47, low 32, starting to get some, some colder temperatures going, you know, getting that fall season. Tuesday, high 55 and low low 37, sunny as well on our Wednesday. Wednesday's my favorite day of the week. Yeah. Uh, Partly cloud with a high 63, a low, a low 43, about a 20 degree difference there. On Thursday, partly cloudy again, a high 65, a low 44. Friday, partly cloudy again. What, what, what can you do about it? High 65, a low 44. Saturday, Saturday, finally getting some sun back in this uh, rotation. High 66, a low 48. Sunday, sunny, partly cloudy again, you know, a high 66, a low 52. 
actually weather for this week uh, Mustang. I don't know, yeah. Bring it back to those uh, very two good looking anchors. Got to wrap it up. Never mind, he's kind of ugly. I don't know, I think he's kind of cute. Well, that about wraps it up, Mustangs. Oh, have a boo fabulous Halloween. And keep your stables and your diesels clean.